What is this? Why is he just letting him shoot, bro? You don't want me to score, weird? Yo, what are you doing? Listen, I'm a lockdown bitch. You can't guard the perimeter. Jesus Yo, bitch. Why the f are you guarding your man? Yo, guard your man. Why aren't you guarding your man? Shut your up. Why aren't you guarding your man? Yo, you're weird as. Yo, you're right. Yeah, you're weird. It's supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. It's supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And look, man, we got a lot of new. 2k news for y'all man so y'all gonna want to watch this full video before we get into it man make sure y'all subscribe if you new. help me hit 300k and make sure y'all like up the video man help me get a thousand likes turn on them post noties because guess what i just landed in new zealand you know ty uh Ticino's, uh country and shit so i'm finna be going crazy streaming that hole early and we gonna go crazy right here on youtube my boy so turn on them noties and you know, I'm gonna really break down the dribbling, the build system, everything you need to know live. Then I'm gonna go drop niggas off at the park. You know? We'll play both gens. But yeah, um, if you guys didn't know, man, a lot of people got 2K. I was like the first nigga to notice this. I have it retweeted on my Twitter. I'm not gonna actually show it. I. So yeah, man, a lot of people got the game, right? And I've been watching a lot of gameplay and seen a lot of clips, man. And I noticed every time this dude was greening, a fucking horse was just making a noise. Nigga, it was like, bah! I'm like, what the fuck? There's no way. Like, no one noticed this and now people are catching on. I should have just posted my video last night. But it's, it's, not, it's not that big a deal. So y'all let me know if that's a W or L. It seemed like it could be cool if it has the right sound effects and shit. But um, I don't know why that nigga had the horse shit or whatever. Basically, in my Twitter clip, just wait. It's like the second clip when he greens. But I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Also, leaked by Reddit, man. We will be able to catch unicorns in the fucking city, bro. You know? 2K is doing everything. <laughs> but basketball. Um... So y'all let me know if you are excited to catch a unicorn. Oh my God. And then I guess they have some type of cards. I don't know. He he revealed all the uh, trophies for NBA 2K22. I think this is the next gen version. I don't know. We're going to be able to catch Pegasus from what? You know, the spin spin. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about down below. If you do, you a real one, man. That, that, that fucking show is amazing. Um, they also got some fashion icon shit, some music mogul shit. Um, if you want to see this, you can just go to this uh, NBA 2K Reddit on Twitter. Y'all be sure to follow me too. There's a secret trophy. What the fuck is that? Also, 2K just dropped news 30 minutes ago, man. This is fresh news. My NBA is back and better. I'm not going to go in detail about this because I do not give a fuck about this. But y'all let me uh, know if uh, y'all are, man. This is this is what it is. I don't, I don't know shit about this. Damn, 11 minutes. They going in depth with my staff, staff overview, attributes and badges. I don't Y'all let me know if y'all play this, like, down below. Like, let me know if y'all play this or no. Like, they going in depth about this shit. Why don't they sprinkle this shit? Why they spam all this shit? This courtside report, man. I'm, I'm really finna flame 2K shit, man. It is some good things and some bad things, man. But the bad things really piss me off. Okay, basically with the My Career, in this big-ass paragraph, I'm gonna sum it up for you, man. 
they're basically saying that it's just incorporated with the city with all the npcs so it's not just you just going to just play your damn my career you're gonna be running around you know sims 2k y'all let me know if y'all excited for that man it would be cool if if it didn't take away from fucking games in the park and i'm tired of hearing creators fucking say that they've never had a problem getting games in the park bro like nigga like shut your ass up bro <laughs> like the fuck is wrong with you bro my nigga i have not been able to get consistent games me because i don't have a logo right when 2k18 started bro that's when it all began it's not because of that record shit win percent shit nigga it's because they went away from the design of just loading in and playing bro we need to keep playing complaining about this maybe one day they'll fix it or make like dedicated servers and shit like that but from what i'm hearing man like a whole city is just a hundred players or like 200 players and shit so it's like the fuck that's what i that's what i heard so uh, i don't know man that that shit's trash but they also say with the my career shit you're gonna be going to the blacktop and playing niggas and probably have to do certain shit so you know it might be more enjoyable and you know it gets to help you on your way to level 40 <clears throat> so they're talking about current gen right here bro they say it's gonna be a lot of locations and every time you you dock and you land there's gonna be a lot of shit to do apparently and a lot of new rewards and content and unique events to engage with for current gen or last gen old gen i wish you guys would start saying last gen old gen but um i don't know that, that sounds kind of good man okay for this deck with the cruise ship man they got 2v2s and 3v3s and there's also a new 5v5 court with park rules so for the rewards for current gen man they got the anti up game room restaurants daily pick them and the daily spin on top of the daily rewards the restaurants are going to give you out gifts and boost a couple times per season which you don't want to miss that sounds cool okay and look man pro-am 3v3 is confirmed back in last gen that'll be an l if it's not if it's not in next gen man i current gen <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, bro, because this matchmaking shit, it's its a W and an L at the same time. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the matchmaking down below. But um, hopefully this year they have, like, ranked Pro-Am and shit, and um, they ban people who are boosting and all that bullshit. Okay, now also for, now, now we on current gen, which is not old gen. <laughs> I, I'll just say next gen, so that's what most of you niggas gonna understand. The Gatorade private courts are back. There's no longer any VC charge. That's cool. And now you can get on them whenever you want. So I don't, I don't know what that's going to look like. And they're like a bunch of people dribbling or it teleports you to something else. I don't know. But that's cool. I guess. Okay. Apparently they got a bunch of new events. And one of the biggest events... That they got in season one is called Chips Ahoy. It's a weekend challenge and the winner takes home a million VC. You know whoever wins that shit, that nigga go that video and go viral. That stupid bitch, that nigga better post on YouTube. I swear to God. If you don't, you a stupid bitch. <laughs> Affiliations. Okay, look. <laughs> Bring your goofy hat here! <laughs> look listen listen 2k you're fucking stupid developers you don't play your game you're fucking stupid anyone who talks to the devs you're fucking stupid you're lame as fuck you're stupid as fuck this shit is stupid as fuck all you niggas are stupid as fuck this affiliation shit look bitch i've been complaining about this affiliation shit for years i'm getting fucking tired of it my nigga I ain't gonna hold you. It's not fucking hard what the community wants, bitch. That's why you need to play your own fucking game so you can fucking understand. Talk to the fucking community, community, bitch. It's not hard, bro. 
Niggas like affiliations. It's cool. But look, bitch. When you make it to where niggas are getting more XP playing at their home court, where do you think all the tryhards are going to do, bitch? They're going to be like, no, I don't want to play with anyone else. They're going to be like, no, what, let, 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 me, let me tell you what it creates. I know y'all switched it from 50. Bitch, it's still the same concept. Because you know niggas is nerds for, for fucking rep. They're going to be like, bro, I'm not leaving my, my, my shit. I'm not leaving my affiliation. I'm only going to play in my affiliation. So what does that mean? If he's playing with other people like him, which most people are like that, they're going to be like, bro, I'm not leaving my affiliation either. So what this creates is a divide, which y'all say y'all didn't want. The reason why you didn't want affiliations and shit. But look, bitch, if you make it to where you get equal rep leaving or staying, it doesn't matter. Don't keep it equal everywhere. So niggas will play with other affiliations. Bitch, you could do that shit for rival day, bitch. It's not fucking hard. I need you niggas on Twitter. All of you hearing me, bro. Listen. Go on Twitter. Support my affiliation shit. Flame2k at every dev. Find every dev at NBA2k. Tell them to fix this shit. Even if you don't got next gen, bro. Flame these niggas, bro. It's a big issue, bro. It creates divide. I can't hoop with my niggas because they OD. Like, they grinding, fiending for rep, trying to be the first and shit. And it's like, nigga, just make it the same. If you want niggas to experience more rep, just boost everything overall by 20. But, like, come on, bitch. Damn. How hard is it? And then niggas trying to be like, see? Y'all don't even want affiliations, but... but Y'all niggas ruin shit. It's little details that ruins everything. Like, come on, bitch. Now with matchmaking. Look. <laughs> look. Matchmaking is a W and an L at the same time, bro. The reason niggas were begging for matchmaking is because the city, the neighborhood creates... A fucking atmosphere where you cannot get consistent games it really does unless you have a logo and the net the content creators ain't bitching about this constantly because they're sucking billion dollar dick for a logo so it's it's just like normal people complaining but they not they don't know how to do it and get their voice heard bro I don't suck billion dollar dick so I don't have a logo nigga and I'm tired of getting off the spot, chasing games. I can never go on streaks. It's very rare because niggas ain't pulling up, bro. I've been playing since the first 2K, bro. I've been playing part since 2K14, bro. That's when it first started. I know what this shit is like, bro. 14 through 17, I got way more consistent games, bro. Like, there were crowds when niggas went on streaks and shit. Even though niggas kind of got scared and shit. Like, but still, like, people were playing. Like, shit was active, bro. This shit creates, like, crazy shit. Matchmaking is the building blocks of, like, every fucking video game. Literally. Like, literally. 2K, you gotta step it up, bro. Seriously, bro. This shit you added, was it's cool. It's gonna make for some cool content. I'm gonna do a lot of cool content on this shit. Like... But you, you still missed it, bro. You missed it, bro. You missed it. You, It's like, okay, the 3v3 versus player. A lot of y'all niggas are stupid. I see y'all trying to, like, defend this. I'm going to explain it to you Um, how I visualize it from a full galactical circular standpoint, bro. The 3v3 versus player, no squads allowed. This is amazing. This is an amazing feature. Amazing. You go in, everyone has randoms. That's amazing. But they also should have made one with squads. It, it, you can't just tell somebody who can't get games at the neighborhood or the city and they want to play with their friends, but they can't get games with their friends that now they have to go play by themselves with a bunch of randoms, which is annoying as fuck because they can't get games at the park because of your poor design. That's ass, bro. Think about it from a, a everyone's standpoint. 3v3 versus AI. 
team up with other my players squads allowed to take on the cpu this is cool um three ver 3v3 versus player um and they gave these cage niggas what they wanted that doesn't make sense it's like niggas are stupid bro the 1v1 matchmaking that's fire bro this is fire but it's like you you almost did it so like you gotta fix this shit as early as possible bro there will be apparel items with these brands that um boost uh attributes i think niggas is definitely gonna glitch this so every week someone's gonna win 1 million vc this is absolutely amazing um <laughs> i think someone gonna find a way to cheat this shit but uh yeah you get 1 million vc whoever wins on uh both systems they get 1 million vc that's dope this will make for good content i ain't gonna hold you imagine if a nigga builds his whole channel off of just winning that race i know it's gonna be some random nigga bro it ain't gonna be nobody known i'm telling you bro nigga probably <laughs> i'm telling you who, who who what what type of person do you think's gonna win the race of the week Okay, they got seasonal quest every seasons will introduce four new seasonal stat quests pushing city ballers to do things like score a ton of points throw down vicious alley-oops drop dimes more over the co course of our entire seasons that's cool that's cool i fuck with that okay so every time the um season change the city's gonna change a little bit Okay, every six weeks there will be a pool of new rewards like player panels green indicators clothing drops jump shot releases and more they say the legend reward will be as fun as ever man y'all let me know what y'all think the legend reward is if y'all think it's still what we know or if it's what we know and like more shit now there's daily quests get five new daily quests and earn rewards like vc xp personal brand points mvp points exclusive gear and more See, that's cool, bro. As long as I can get games, bro, I, I fuck with it, nigga. As long as this shit don't make the game lag. Okay, it's apparently an all-new city. They went real in-depth with the textures and the mixtures and the inside and the time of day, how the light beams and all this other extra shit, man. This MVP, the city shit, they're saying basically everything you do counts towards MVP points um i don't know how you become the mvp of the city getting the most points it's kind of vague i guess i don't fucking know whoever gets the most points is the most i definitely think it's gonna be like a random nigga so there's a bunch of side quests outside of the main story arc with the my career you know your little music fucking <laughs> your music storyline your fashion storyline Blowing out teams, running up the score, and a bunch of other bullshit that's going to constantly change. Okay, this personal brand shit is going to matter how you answer questions and all that shit, with what endorsements you get, all that. There's going to be music trivia. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Turn on post notice, man. We're going to be streaming NBA 2K22 soon. You're going to want to be tuned in, man, so y'all don't mess, waste a lot of money on your builds. And you get all the game-breaking shit here first. And you ain't out there looking crazy, getting fucked up, hating the game. So, yeah, man. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day, my boy. But, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm not made me. Now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.